In this video, we'll look how to find the equation for a line of reflection. Here we have two points, A and A prime. A is the original pre-image, and A prime is the new image point. We know that A is the original because A prime has the apostrophe. The apostrophe means this is the first transformation of point A. To find the line of reflection, we'll start by connecting A to A prime. Now let's look at the slope of this line segment. It has a rise of 2 and a horizontal run of 8. The midpoint in between A and A prime would be half as much up and half as much over. Therefore, instead of rising 2, if we went half as much up, it would be 1 up. And instead of going 8 to the right, we'd go 4 to the side. Now we can also go from A and do the same thing, but now we'll go down 1 and 4 to the left. The midpoint is in between. Now notice that the two right triangles we drew are going to be congruent. They both have a vertical leg of 1, a horizontal leg of 4, and by Pythagorean theorem, their hypotenuse would be equal. That's how I know that this really is the midpoint. They're the same distance from A to A and A prime. All right, so let's go and list. The midpoint now is going to be at 1, 2. Next, let's turn our attention to finding the slope of this blue segment. Its rise is 2, and its run is 8. Therefore, the slope is 2 eighths, which reduces to 1 fourth. Now, the line of reflection is going to have a perpendicular slope to this line. To find the perpendicular slope, you need to take the opposite reciprocal. So we're going to take 1 fourth, flip it, and change the sign. If we flip 1 fourth, we get 4, and then to make it the opposite, we change the sign. Therefore, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative 4. Let's go ahead and draw on that line. From our midpoint, it will go down 4 and 1 to the right, and then down 4 and 1 to the right, or we can go the other direction, up 4, but 1 to the left. So here's that line. Now let's find the equation of it. We can use point-slope form. In point-slope form, if you know a point, x1, y1, in this case the midpoint 1, 2, we can substitute that in along with the slope m. Rewriting this, we should get y equals, the slope is now negative 4, because that is our perpendicular slope, quantity x minus our x1 value is 1, and the y value, y1 value is 2. Therefore, the equation should be y equals negative 4 times the quantity x minus 1 plus 2. Now, we could have used point-slope form in addition to slope-intercept form. Here, we can only use the slope-intercept form if the y-intercept is exact. Now, we know that the slope of this perpendicular line, this one in blue, is uh, negative 4. So if we go up from our midpoint, 4 units up and 1 to the left, we're going to see that it actually touches at 0, 6. 0, 6 is a nice clean y-intercept. Therefore, we could use the uh, slope-intercept form, y equals negative 4x plus 6. This is in the form y equals mx plus b. Now, you only want to use this if you have a nice clean y-intercept. However, it's easier just to use the point-slope form because you're always going to know the midpoint. Now, let's look at a couple more examples. Here, we have a triangle ABC that's been reflected across a line to form triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's start by connecting the corresponding points. We'll connect A to A prime, B to B prime, and C to C prime. Now, C to C prime overlaps the B to B prime, but if you also notice, point C and point C prime, they're not clean points. They're not clean integers. So we probably don't want to use those when we go ahead and find the uh, line of reflection. Now, I see that A has a nice uh, clean coordinate, and so does B. I can use either one of these for doing it. Let's start with point A. Let's look at the slope going from A to A prime. This time I notice the slope is negative because it's going down as it goes to the right. So we have to go down 6 units and over 4 units. If we go half as much down and half as much over, that'll tell me where my midpoint is. Half of 6 is going to be 3, so we go down 3 units. And then half of going over 4 is going to be over 2 units. Now I can also go from A prime and do the same thing. Go up 3 and 2 over. Now notice they intersect at the same point. That is my midpoint. Here, the midpoint is going to be at negative 2, 4. The slope of the segment connecting A to A prime is negative 6 fourths. This reduces to negative 3 halves. The perpendicular slope for our line of reflection is going to be the opposite reciprocal of this. So we'll flip and change the sign. That opposite reciprocal slope is going to become 2 thirds. Now let's go ahead and put our equation once we draw it. We know that the slope is going to be 2 thirds, and it passes through the point negative 2, 4. Therefore, the equation, y equals, 
we can substitute m as two-thirds times the quantity x minus negative two, while the double negative becomes x plus two, and then plus four. So here's our equation. Now notice the y-intercept is not a clean coordinate. So in this case, because it's not easily identifiable, I wouldn't want to use slope-intercept form. We'd want to keep it in point-slope form because we know for sure it passes through the point negative two, four. And I'm not sure what the y-intercept is. Now we could have used point B instead. So let's look at an example how that would work. So here's the same picture. If I connect B to B prime again, I get this. Now notice that the segment going down is going to be 12 units, but it now goes over 8 units. The midpoint here would be to go down 6, but only over 4. So let's do that. Or we can go up 6 and 4 over from B prime. Now the midpoint is going to be a different coordinate, it's negative 5, 2. The slope, if we reduce 12 eighths, negative, is going to become negative 4 thirds, or negative 3 halves rather, which is still the same slope as before. The perpendicular slope, if we take the opposite reciprocal, is still going to be 2 thirds, just like we had previously. Now the equation, once we draw it in, same line, the equation might look a little different. Here it's going to be y equals 2 thirds times the quantity x plus 5 plus 2. Now notice it's the same line I had in the previous example, but the equation looks different. It's not that the equation really is different, I just found a different form of it. Because I substituted in a different point, negative 5, 2, instead of the previous point, the equation looks a little different. However, if we were to distribute the two-thirds, and then combine like terms, to put it into slope-intercept form, we would get the same equation for both problems. So really, it's the same equation, just in a different form. And you can use either point, both of them are correct. Alright, let's try one more example here. Here we have triangle ABC. It's been reflected over a line of reflection to find triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Why don't you go ahead and try this one, pause the video, and then resume it when you're ready to check your work. I'll give you a moment. Alright, hopefully you've had a chance to work this one out. Now looking at it, I noticed a couple things. Points A and C, and their image points A prime, C prime, are not clean integer coordinates. So I probably don't want to use those. Instead, I see that B and B prime have nice, easy integer coordinates. So let's use those points. We really only need one pair of matched points to be able to do this. It's just the idea is they have to be nice, clean coordinates, and they're matched points. All right, so looking at B to B prime, we can see that it goes down eight units and over six units. Half of eight is going to be to go down four, and half of six is going to be over three. So if we go down four, and over 3 from B, or go up 4 and to the right 3 from B prime, we should see that the midpoint is going to be right there. It's at negative 1, 5. Now the slope of the segment that connects B to B prime is positive because it's going up and to the right, and it's going to have a slope of 8 sixths. 8 sixths is going to reduce to 4 thirds. The perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal. That's going to be negative 3 fourths. All right, putting the slope and the point negative one five into our equation, we're gonna go and see that it becomes y equals negative three fourths times the quantity x minus a negative one, which becomes x plus one, and then plus five. This is the equation for the blue line, which is the line of reflection. All right, thank you for watching, hope this helps.